Today, Barry and Carrots are studying for their upcoming test. Barry is struggling to understand the concepts, and Carrots is trying to help him understand. Barry worries he's going to fail, but Carrots reassures him. You're working so hard, she says. You'll do fine. Barry tries to get his mind off his fear, but he can't seem to. His breathing becomes more shallow, and he begins to cry. He can't explain this feeling. He's not sad, and he doesn't know why he's crying. Carrots moves Barry's books aside and sits down with him, trying to take his mind off of it. I'm here for you, Barry, says Carrots. Let's talk about it. I've felt this way before, too. K -k Carrots. Barry interrupts, sniffling. <laughs> could, could you not talk? But ju just sit with me right now. <laughs> Carrots was taken by surprise. I always need someone to talk to if I'm stressed or scared, thought Carrots to herself. But maybe you just need some quiet time with a friend. Barry and Carrot sit for a bit. Barry took some deep breaths and sighed many times. Carrot had to hold herself back from trying to ask more questions. Slowly, Barry feels much better and he stops crying. Barry begins to open up and starts to feel okay. Once all the worry goes away, Barry reaches over and opens his books again. Thank you, Carrots, says Barry. You are truly a good friend. It feels like we just had the best conversation ever, even without saying a word. Sometimes, just being there for a friend empathizing can be the best way to help them feel better.